Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Royal Stone! Today, we've got an ambush to deal with! Whatever shall we do? Well, first things first, uh, just so you know, all the enemies at this point are fire elemental. So, we don't have to really scan everything to figure out what we can or cannot do. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and put my siren just barely in range of some of these guys and have everyone else back off. By the way, my siren does need some healing, if I recall correctly, from last time. Yes, we do. Okay. So basically, what I want to do is get my siren up to max level before I finish this stage. Unfortunately, if I have her kill all these guys, I'm still going to be one enemy short of hitting max level. So, what I'm going to do is back all my party members off so they don't uh, try to hit someone else. Um, but actually, you know what, let's put my, uh, wizard out there, so that way the those guys can't hit us, but she, she might be able to, uh, soften one out for us. But anyway, I'm gonna have to take one of these guys and get it all the way to my siren, or get my siren all the way over there. But I will be g get killing most of these guys with my bishop. So, let's see, first things first. Let's, uh, try to back off as much as I can... Um, yeah, let's just stay there for now. Don't need to worry too much about all that. Let's bring you up to the front lines. Just start creating a wall so that way they can't gang up on you too much. Uh, let's see, can you get down there? Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure they couldn't get through that forest, which they can't. So, alright. But yeah, there is a very good reason why I've been working really hard to get up to uh, max level for my monsters. And we'll find out today! My greatest secret in this game. It took me a couple playthroughs to figure this one out, but uh, well, I got it, so. Well, hmm, I was thinking I could soften that one up, but I might want Siren just to kill that guy because he'd be relatively easy, and I would think he doesn't give much experience. But we only need, like, five... She, she's going to end up, like, five experience points short of hitting max level. Which is 16, by the way. So, we'll just uh, do the best we can with what we got. Ow! Quit it. Actually, that did hurt a little. But that's okay. You suck. Your crits are no match for me! Fall to my siren song! Welcome to die! Anyone else want to line up? Hey, hey, all right! Very well, I will give you your death. You seem to want it, so... Oh, I can't kill him? Oh, man. Well, oh, almost. I want to be careful to keep my, well, one of my bishops in range of her, because even though it's water on fire, it's still not 100% foolproof that she won't die. It's very unlikely, but it could happen. The one thing I also want to be careful of here is those fi keeping those fire guys from attacking my, uh, well, Scraw, because she's wind elemental. She'd be weak to all that stuff. And I also want to make sure that these guys don't escape to the right there, so to speak. So, okay, let's get out of there as much as we can. Actually, hold on a sec. Let's uh, get into a battle with my siren first. Um, let's see. I think I'm more worried about them potentially escaping up top there, so I'm gonna go up here. I probably couldn't kill this guy. Or maybe I can! Hey, hey, all right. Would be nice to get another level. Right now. Alright, got him. Yeah, that was a fighter, too. So, I mean, he would have defended. And that would have been bad for me. Because then I couldn't finish him off. Alright. Okay, so, now. Uh, hmm. I hope I'm still in range. If not, I could use a heal spell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's just use heal instead. She's almost... Uh, well, she, she's over halfway, so yeah, heal spell just fine. 
yeah, d n nice thing to remember, just like the wizard spells, uh, heal and life have different ranges to them, too. So it's just something to keep in mind there. Hmm. I, I just want to see how far they can go and if I can keep my wizard out of range. Okay, so that's... Okay, yeah, I'm just barely in range. So let's just soften that guy up a little bit. Just stay right in the water where they can't get to you. Uh, wizards are so good in this game. And the first game, for that matter. Although I think it was just called a mage there. But anyway, okay, let's see. Can I kill any of these guys? Easily enough. I could kill that guy, but I'd kind of rather not. Okay, let's uh, gang up on this guy, then. Probably want to get uh, Ava back so that way she could heal my bishop. Um, yeah, I'll just run away, because I can't even damage him now while he's blocking. I'm not high-leveled enough. When you get up to max level, then it might be possible. Um, you know, I might not have enough to kill him. And I don't want to risk a boost, because then he might defend. So let's use the Mighty Pimento spell! He's already hot and gorgeous anyway. So, okay, got him. How did he dodge? He's a freaking pepper! He can't move! <sighs> okay. Get yourself together, Bailey. Okay, well, anyway. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm still just a mage, but that doesn't mean I can't do nothing. So, let's see. Let's put you there. I, I think that the, uh, what is it, the fi fighter there, I think he would have just barely been out of range of my uh, bishop's damage. So, yeah, that's why I thought I had to use Pimento, but, well, screwed me, apparently. Uh, just barely out of range. Um, yeah, let's just go there and hope my bishop doesn't get killed. And, okay! Let's see what happens now. I hope they gang up on my Siren. She's at max, so she could take on four guys at once. And that's her job. Well, at least the fighter there will probably still attack uh, my bishop there. Draws a lot of aggro. And I'm getting out of here. I'm not even going to try to counter, because I know more of these guys are going to try and kill him. Uh, it's... This, this could be really bad. They might be able to kill me. Well, I'm still going to run anyway, but... Oh, man. I hope I don't have to re-record. Yeah, drag it out. Drag it out. Absolutely. Um, hmm. The other guy might be able to hit me from behind. I don't think he can, but I'm going to play it safe. So, yeah, Pimento. That basically makes all my other crowd control spells obsolete, pretty much. Soften you up a little bit. Please don't kill him. All right! Woohoo! Whew! Barely survived that round. I need to get my, uh, well, get Eva back there to help out with the healing a little bit, at least. And I'm gonna get out of here. Whew! That was close. Too close! Ha ha! Her jiggling is almost hypnotic. It's like a lava lamp. Ow! Quit it. Uh, I don't think I can kill you, can I? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought I was just gonna be barely short, and no one was. Hold on. Well, at least they're all ganging up on there, so that'll help out. Oh, that's why he took more damage in the last battle, because uh, he used a special in the first round, right. I was like, why did he take so much damage before? But, well, now I know. Too bad we don't have AoEs in this game. Oh well. I'll just do the best I can. I hope that guy at the bottom doesn't make a break for Ava. Because that would be kind of hard for my Siren to catch up with them. But, oh well, I'll do what I can. 
Yes! Okay, it's going up. Excellent. Okay, so let's see. Why don't we go there? Oh, he's gonna block! Because oh, I'm not gonna have enough to. Oh, alright. Woo! Barely had enough to kill him! <laughs> I thought I was gonna be a little short, like 108 damage or something, but uh, no, no, it all worked out. Okay, so how are you doing? You could use a little healing. So let's get you back just a little bit. And heal her. Now, I want to be careful. I don't want to go too far to the right, because then I might attract those other enemies over here. So I don't want to do that. But let's see. Where's that one guy? Uh, let's see. There he is. Okay, the weakest one. He gives... Okay, good, good. Ten experience there. And I'm going to need an extra five to max out my siren. So that'll be fine. Um, let's see. Will I be in range? I don't think I will be, but I'll give it a try. Nope. Not in range. Okay. Let's try heal spell. Hey, alright. Always heal the healer first, because they can't heal themselves. Or in this case, a bishop, but you know what I mean. Same difference. And let's see. Okay, so you're good. I'm going to need to heal him. And I think I gotta start taking these guys out. Hmm. Can I get into the water? I could, but to what end? Hmm. Yeah, they could still gang up on her or him or her. Okay. I was thinking of the other bishop, but. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh. Yeah. Get my. Me. Me, Jai. Back up to speed. Now, remember, he's from those, like, beast people or whatever they were talking about there. Beast kingdom, something or other. So that's why he looks like a bird. At least I, I'm assuming that it's a he. I don't know. I mean, it could be a female. But anyway. Okay, so... Hmm, I'm going to take out one of them with Nico there. Let me see. Who would be ripe for the pickings? Hmm, probably get one of, one of the bigger ones. No, actually, one of the smaller ones would probably be better. Okay, okay, we're still good. I, can, I think I can pretty much one-shot the guy. I'm gonna use a skill just to be safe. Because I think I might come... How... Okay. Deep breaths. <laughs> Oh, why game? Okay, you can get the kill, Avail. Try that again. You can get the kill, Avail. Thank you! Someone can hit the broadside of a barn! <sighs> okay, let's see. I'm gonna try and escape into the water a little bit. Um, let's see. Because I don't want two of these guys to gang up on him. Uh, let's see. If I go into the water, those two could still gang up on him. Hmm. I might need to kill another one of those guys. Is anyone, like, really weak? Like, my wind character could... Squall could kill one of them? Maybe. Hmm. I was trying to get under that guy here, but I can't do that now. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess I gotta take a risk, don't I? Let's go for it. Maybe he'll block, or he could just die. That works too. Okay, and I think that should be good enough. Let's uh, hmm. move you down there, and hope and pray, just like on the SATs. If they still do SATs with kids nowadays, I don't know. Maybe they got a new standard or something. I don't really worry about that much. Well, I think the other two guys are pretty weak, so hopefully they can't finish her off. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm dead. I am dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, well, let's, uh... How are we missing so much? This is ridiculous. Hmm, I might have been able to... Well, that guy's a little weaker. I was gonna say, I might be able to have been able to kill that other guy from before, but... Nah, I can't do that. He, he would have better stats. At least my siren can hit things. Right? Yes, she can. Alright, just a few more kills and we'll be good. Yeah, another reason why I sent my siren to the left is because those enemies give more experience than the ones on the right. So now what I'm going to kind of do is I'm going to try to kite the boss over to the right. Just barely stay in range of him so he can only attack her. And then I'll kill one of the weaker guys over there. And that should be enough. Okay, so how close am I now? Not close enough. So let's just get a little closer. There we go. And kill off the rest of these losers. Let's see. And I'm amazed that I was able to survive that one. So basically, once I get my Siren up to max level, I really want to focus on my two bishops and Ava to get up to max. Because they're my three boost users, so I'm going to need them to kill bosses later on. Because they have so much defense, and a lot of them don't have elemental weaknesses. So you want to watch out for that. Um, let's see, yeah, let's heal you up. No, oh, you didn't need it that much. But my bishop's gonna heal up Scrawl anyway, so I'm not worried about it. The other bishop, I mean. Let's see, Perlis, there you are. So, let's see, am I in range? Good. Yeah, not too far. You might want to think about running more often than sometimes there, Scrawl. Okay, uh, let's see. We got you and you. Hmm. I don't want to get into another situation where I'm barely able to survive. Hmm. Yeah, I'll give the kill to Nico. Or, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, Nico. Um, let's see. Let's go for a good skill shot. Good. Barely able to get the job done. If not, well, I can have someone else finish him off. Oh, you know, I killed all the weaker firefighters here. Hmm. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. I mean, I'll still be able to get my siren up to max level anyway if I kill that other guy. Okay, so now what I want to do is run away! So, let's see. Um, I want to go through the forest. So, let's see. Let's go there. He'll attack him, but that's okay. Or her. And let's see. Siren, draw that guy out. Why don't you uh, move a little more towards the center just so the boss doesn't try to kill you? Hmm. You know, I was thinking of having Scrawl retreat south there, but maybe going to the west would be better because he'll keep on following her around. And I could kite that guy, the two enemies together. Okay, so, first things first. Well, well, there's only one thing to do, really. <laughs> Fight. Man, even though I have the elemental advantage, he's still kicking my ass. I like the boss music for generals and stuff. Okay, let's see. How far can you go? You can go pretty far. So, let's go right there. And back up just a little bit. Okay, let's see. Scrawl is the one who needs healing, right? Okay. So, let's, uh... Well, actually, I got my bishop over there. Now, I don't need her to get kills. So, let's heal you up and, uh, draw the enemy away. Fortunately, kiting enemies around here is much easier than it is when fighting Yasmat. Yeah, I could never get that strategy down. Not good enough, anyway. Okay, so we got you, you're healed. Everyone else here okay? I just want to make absolutely certain, because I'm almost done. Good. Ow! Quit it. Get out of there. Oh, and by the way, for those who don't know, kite, or the, the verb, kite, means to 
draw an enemy's attention and force them to follow you like a kite, you know, like flying a kite. Literally. Just trying to draw them into another area where you're going to gang up on them or lead them into a trap or whatever. No point in blocking because he won't get another attack. But... Oh, I forgot to heal my siren there. I thought I was forgetting something, but I forgot. Okay. Well, let's heal you up just to make sure. Now, obviously, I do not want to kill the boss yet, because if I do, the other enemy will go away. That's why I'm not finishing him off yet. So how far can you go? Okay. Fortunately, Blair only has a movement or a speed stat of five. So, uh, yeah, he won't be able to move too much into water anyway. Uh, yeah, good heal spell ought to do. It's kind of dangerous using Scrawl to uh, draw out the boss, but that's okay. Yeah, I've never been good at kiting enemies in uh, 3D environments. Well, then again, I'm just not that good at 3D games in general. I can barely drive a car in 2D. What makes you think I can do it in 3D? No wonder Back to the Future 2 was wrong on that one. Oh, well. Um... I'm gonna block instead of trying to run away, because it's kind of hard to run from bosses sometimes. Oh, I almost accidentally, uh, attacked him. <laughs> Might have finished him off. That could have been bad. Okay, how are we doing? Yes! Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to get out of range of the boss there. So, let's see. With her out of the way, he could probably go up to about here. So if I go one space down, that should be good enough to stay out of range. And allow my siren to kill this guy. Oh, he might defend. That could be bad. Yeah, he's going to defend. I might not be strong enough to get through that. Well, I'm almost max, so maybe I can. Hey, hey, all right. Yeah, just like I told you, get up to max. You can break through blocks. Okay, so, whoa. What happened to my recording there? <laughs> well, the screen just kind of weird out on me or something. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's see. Yes, we are within range to gain the last level because the boss gives 35 experience. So, let's wait for the... Well, what are you... What are you going to do? Oh, okay, I am in range. Good, good. I meant to do that. Finish him. I didn't say almost finish him. I said totally finish him. Yes! Okay, there we go. Well, at least you get a decent level up at the final level. So that way you guys will stop killing us? Both. Well, yeah, that would be the idea. Who do you think you are, Rubik Conte? An honorable bad guy. Oh. So, now we've got good guys that like us, good guys that hate us, bad guys that like us, and bad guys that hate us. Karasa, huh? They were telling us about that. Yeah, we just tried to kill you. Pretty hard, too. Oh. Nuts. Yeah, that's, uh, he's talking about Tor there. Oh. So how do we get to Baradesia? Cool name for, uh, the city where the Empire is, or whatever. Oh, so that's why no one knows who runs the Empire. 
Whoa. How hard could it possibly be to get up there? Now, that couldn't possibly be true. But as we all know, in JRPGs, all myths, legends, rumors are 100% accurate. It is. We're, we're going to be going there. What unification? Well, yeah. How else would we do that? Uh, except you brutally murder people for fun, and I don't? Other than that, we're just alike! Ah, well thank you. But alright, now we're in... Uh, what is this? Oranon, however you pronounce the name of this town. But anyway, we got a new mystery shop with some very critical items. Let's see, I want to get two of these. These are the uh, tier four and the ultimate stabs in the game. So I'll get at least two of those. If I have the money, I might get more. But anyway, uh, you want to get this item. Now, the first couple times I played the game, I already had both wizards, or both my magi, magi upgraded to wizards. Because I thought, well, there's the item for them, there's an item for the healers, and that's it, right? But no, there's actually a third class upgrading item, the Contract. And if you still have a Magi, if you didn't upgrade both your wizards at first chance, you can use it on a Magi to get the Evoker Job Class. Technically, I think Wizard is a stronger job class. But I'm going to use Evoker just to show it off. Now we get a new command in our menu, the Monster Command. So let's see. Basically what you do is you take your monsters and you equip them to your Evoker. And then he can use them in battle like you're casting a spell or something. So they basically work like monsters did in the first game now. You summon them and they'll also stick around for the single round for them to take the hit for you. The reason why I wanted to max out the levels on my monsters was because even if Tor kills an enemy with one of those monsters, uh, Tor will get the experience, not the monster. So it's just something to keep in mind there. So that now that I've gotten them up to max, I don't care about their uh, stats anyway. Or I, I don't care about them getting kills or whatever. Oh, sorry, I already gave them the tour. Ah, oh, okay. Not too far then, huh? Okay, well, let's see what else we can get here. Okay, how's it going? What, no story? Not yet, though. There's some other stuff I want to buy as long as I'm here. See, I want to get a couple claymores. First chance we can buy them. And, let's see, I want to buy a plate armor. Oh, and I gotta equip those, uh, stabs, too. Okay, let's see. So, let's see, Claymore, I'll give to Lavelle. And that's his ultimate sword, or tier 4 sword. And, where's the other one? Oh, I need that for Sator. Okay, well, I need to remove that monster, then. So, remove him. And then go back into his menu there. Give that to you. There we go. Okay. And re-equip. I like how you can equip monsters in this game. But yeah, it took me like a couple playthroughs to figure out how this all worked. Because there was like no information out there on it or anything. Oh, I don't want to use that. I want to equip it. Dino Bones. Why that's the ultimate staff in the game, I don't know. But it's there. And we got the other one. So let's give that to Perlis. There we are. And let's see. Okay, so we got a worm claw and a plate armor. Because there's a new party member here. Last one I'm going to be recruiting. A griffin monster. We could have gotten one way earlier in the game, like in battle number four. But... I figured we can recruit one here, middle of the game or so, 
So I figured, why not just do it here? The problem is with uh, Sater is that there is one you can recruit at an inn, but it's like almost at the very end of the game, so you wouldn't be able to level him up very much. So I figured, Griffin, we can do that. So let's equip or get the Griffin there. Save up here. And equip my new stuff on the Griffin. Got the ultimate equipment all set and ready to go. So basically, Griffin is going to take the ninth slot in my party lineup. So yeah, we got two bishops, and we got two wizards, or well, a wizard and a evoker. And then we got three fighters, and we got Ava, and the ninth one is the monster there. So I'm going to level up my Griffin while I'm still using the Evoker, too. And eventually, I'll just equip it to my Evoker there, and everything will be fine there. Uh, did I equip the plate on you? Uh, yeah, okay, good, good. Well, all right, there we go. But how powerful can the Evoker job class possibly be? Find out next time on Let's Play Royal Stone. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.